I'll go ahead and mention the uh, pulmonary trunk here becomes the right pulmonary artery and then the left pulmonary artery going through the lungs. All right, now going back to the aortic arch, I said the descending aorta is here. Going back down behind there is the thoracic aorta. When it pierces the diaphragm, it becomes the abdominal aorta. All right, so when we first get down here, uh, one of the first branches we'll see is the splenic artery going to the spleen. Then the splenic vein will come back across there. All right, the next thing, this little nub is representative of the superior mesenteric artery to feed the top part of the intestines. Then we're going down, we have a left renal artery and a right renal artery going to the kidneys. All right, and going down the abdominal aorta further, this little thing coming off to the side here is the inferior mesenteric artery that feeds the lower part of the intestines. So we come down here, it's going to branch off into a left and right common iliac arteries. And then you get down into the femoral region. Over here we have a left femoral artery, a right femoral artery on the other side. And down here behind the knee, this will be a left popliteal artery.